Hello, potato. Today, we're going to look at microphones, uh, lo lavalier mics to be exact. One of the things that's always been an issue on this channel is the audio, and of course, a lot of it's my voice, and there's only so much you can do about that. But I spend a fair amount of time, like, editing out me taking breaths and stuff, and I know I get something too, too close to the mic and kind of breathe into it. And then a lav mic is what a lot of people use to kind of get around that. Others will just use a nice microphone and record the sound separately and then sync them up when they're editing, and I'm frankly kind of too lazy to do that. So, in the past, I have tried a couple of lavalier mics. We tried this one, this was a couple years ago, it was a like a Black Friday special, and I've actually got it, it's been sitting here, the, I was actually kind of surprised the box is still, I thought I threw it out, but yeah, it's been sitting here, it doesn't go back in the box. Came this little pouch, which is uh, admittedly falling apart despite the fact I haven't really been doing anything with it. Just kind of a shortish cord, clip, mic. As I recall, it didn't sound bad. Also had an extension cord in case you like wanted to get really far from the mic from the uh, camera, which of course you know if you're in front of the camera, you probably would need to do. But for a refresher, here is what this sounds like. Get it plugged into the camera and attach it to my shirt like you're supposed to. And there we go. So that is what I sound like on this microphone. Of course, I cannot hear what I sound like right now. I might be really loud, might be really bad. I honestly don't know because I can't hear it. I won't hear it until I'm editing. But this is what this microphone sounded like. I, as I recall, when I did a video on it before, it sounded fine. It didn't sound particularly bad at all. I just ended up not going back to use it. And here we are back on the camera's microphone. Now, a while after that, like the next year, I received this. Uh, in my Christmas stocking. And I did actually try to do a video on this before. This came from Five Below, so it was like five bucks. And um, there's a reason that the video for this never came out. So first of all, it is being being a $5 thing, even though like this one's pretty much a cheapy mic, this is even cheaper. It's uh, The microphone isn't even like attached to a clip or anything. I thought it had, oh, there it does. So I thought it had a little foam cover for it. Let me get it out. So yeah, it's not attached to the clip per se, so much as it's just kind of dangling from it. Now, the reason though you never saw the video of this microphone is, well, let me plug it in and you can see what it sounds like. So yeah, that bit of silence is brought to you by the Prime Connect clip-on microphone. So uh, yeah, it didn't work at all. There, no sound came through at all. It was complete and utter garbage. And that is why we never did a video on it. But now I have, so now I guess I can finally just throw it away because there's like really, there's no legitimate reason to keep this sitting around here. But the reason I'm doing this today is because I got a third lav mic to try out and that is what looks to be the nicest of all of them the boya universal lavalier microphone oh, if i didn't specify this is by zafiro you know these are these are names that you think of when you think of uh, high quality electronics boya prime connect and zafiro but this one is supposed to have a mode between using it for like a camera and using it for a phone it's got a six meter cable length and it's also got a, it's actually attached to the clip by the pictures anyways. So we're gonna try this one out today and see what it looks like or sounds like. And of course, I won't know what it sounds like until I go to edit it. So I will have to, I guess, come back after editing the majority of this video to uh, give some final thoughts. All right, so much like our Zafiro, it comes in a little baggy. That's nice. Comes with instructions we're not gonna read. Let's we'll put those back in the box. Close the box back up and put it in the background, like so. So here's our Boya mic. It's a uh, yeah, yeah, very, very similar bag. Um, 
There's no seam on the, oh no, there it is. There's a seam. This one's a seam on both sides that work and fail. This only has one seam to fail. We have our, it's like an extra clip. No, we have the clip. It's not even, not, does not come attached. So some assembly is required here. But it comes with a nice uh, reusable hook and latch. Cable tie, comes with some silica gel. Comes with a Boya qualified certificate. That's, that's nice. Or quality certificate, I guess it actually says. All right, get the clip out of its tiny, tiny little plastic prison. Clip, I'm gonna see what clips on like that. There we go. Where'd the little foam cover go? Did I, have I lost it? Well, that's a neat trick. It was in this bag and now it is nowhere at all. Oh, here it is. It was in front of the camera and I couldn't see it and I don't think you could either. So put that on, it's a little warped from shipping. But there we go, so there's our Boya mic. This actually has like a little clip for the switch. It is in smart flips, put it in camera mode. And I have no idea what those will sound like either because of course I can't hear. Well, that was fun. Uh, for some reason, something I said caused the camera to shut off, but you haven't missed anything. I just kind of turned it right back on. So yeah, I'm going to clip this on. I guess I'll clip this on as well. And uh, let's give it a try. See what it sounds like. Well, I can tell you already the, uh, the little wind thing doesn't stay on, I've, I've lost it. Literally in the time it took to pick it up, to bring it over here to put it on, it's fallen off. And it's a very small little black speck and I don't see where it's gone. Ha, I have found it now, it was on the floor. So that's a, that's an annoying thing right there. If the little wind cover isn't gonna stay on the mic, that's going to be um, very annoying very quickly. All right, clipping it on. And now I'm going to jostle the camera and plug it in. All right, and it's plugged in. It looks like we have sound, so that's good. This is what it sounds like in camera mode. And I'm gonna switch it to smartphone mode and see what difference that makes. I'm gonna try to anyways. Well, assuming what I was seeing on the screen is accurate, when I put it in smartphone mode, it just went off. So we'll not be putting it in smartphone mode. We'll, we'll leave it in camera mode. But here's what this one sounds like. Does it sound better to you? Does it sound worse? Does it do anything for my, my horrible, horrible voice? Probably not. But I figured the way to do this, the way to test both of these microphones out side by side, is to essentially kind of do a normal video with them. So for that, if you watch my LEGO minifigure videos, you know that I have all but two of minifigure series 20. Three. I was missing the Big Bad Wolf and the Knight, and uh, I now think I have them both. This actually didn't come from like oh no, that one didn't come from Lego Store. This one came from a toy shop in Old Sacramento called G Willikers because we couldn't find it at our local Lego store. Every time we went in there, they had everybody but the Knight. At least that should be the Knight. So I'm going to open each of these. Open one with each microphone. I'm already on the Boya mic in case. Uh, you have gotten confused. I haven't taken it out or anything. We're still on the Boya mic. So I'm gonna open up one minifigure on the Boya mic, then switch back to the Zafiro mic and open the other minifigure and put them together and do like what I would normally do in one of those videos. And then I guess I'll go back and edit it to see which sounds better and then come back in here and give it a final opinion and maybe, just maybe, put one of these into more common use instead of just having them take up space on my counter. So let's open the one that I think is the knight first. And I need a knife. Here we go. And open them up and put them out. And yes, it's a it's a shame I did not get these out before Halloween because uh, he would have gone into the Halloween display. I mean, he still will go on the Halloween display. It's just he's not going to be on display. So that's interesting. So that's, I think, maybe part of the problem I had trouble finding him to begin with is he already had his chest armor on him. All right, well, let's, uh, let's put them together real quick. Oh, 
All right, so there is our little Lego child knight. Um, too many things. This one actually comes with too many accessories. You can't, you can't have them hold uh, their their stick horse and their sword and shield at the same time. So that's interesting. I had to look at the instructions because I didn't didn't know. I knew there was the plume went on him or her, but uh, I didn't know it went on the face piece. So they do have two faces. They have this uh, kind of attacky face, like cheerful, and then a uh, smirky face. We see a lot of smirky faces in this set. And I feel like this is meant to be a female character. Looking at how they have pink in the lips on it, uh, I'm going to say this is meant to be a little girl, not a little boy. Now they've given her the, the child legs and they're the bendable ones. So uh, Lego, please explain to me why some figures in this set get the bendable child legs and some didn't. I think the Sugar Plum Fairy didn't and I think the Elf didn't, but the Child Knight does. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. But it's still a nice figure and it is the, the holdout, the one we were having no luck at all in finding. And now we do have it. It's nice, nicely printed. I think, is that, that horse head a, a unique piece? I don't think I've seen that piece in any other sets. Maybe something in Friends though. I don't honestly don't know. I don't pay attention a lot, a lot to the Friends series. But nice, it is one more done. Now, I'm gonna jostle the mic a bit and switch over to the Zafiro mic and we will do the other one. All right, so now I'm back on the Zafiro mic and we're gonna open up what should be the Big Bad Wolf and that will finish Lego minifigure series 23 for us. I guess, I guess uh, next year they're going to switch over to this. I, I don't know I've mentioned this before, probably in another video about these, that they're going to switch over and have uh, do away with the uh, the foam, the foam, the foil packaging and put them in uh, little cardboard boxes, which I expect are going to make them a lot harder to um, feel through. Well, let's put this together. All right, there we go. There's our big bad wolf. Uh, much simpler, does not have a lot of accessories, has just the one. Guess I could give, give them the shield. But I do like the phases on this. Um, so of course it's another another furry. Lego does love their furries. But they've got uh, two faces. We've got, and they're both kind of kind of villainous, like a, kind of a smirky bully face there. Might be licking his lips. Guess because he's gonna eat piggies. And this one I think is really cool. He is blowing your house down. So he is the Three Little Pigs Big Bad Wolf specifically because he doesn't blow down uh, Red Riding Hood. Oops. Of course, we've seen that sack before. I think the uh, the raccoon in a previous series had it. Santa Claus has had it. It's typical Lego sacks. No no unique pieces here except for like the head. I think we've even seen this tail before. I think, I think this is a repaint of the, uh, the raccoon tail from a couple series ago. But very nice. And yes, now I can cross off the last two figures on my minifigure series 23 collection we have them all so that's a good thing but now back to the main point of this video uh, again i'm still on the zafiro mic so i guess i need to go and edit at least some of this so i can hear how they sound and then i will come back and give a, a final opinion on which mic is better the zafiro or the boya remember of course we aren't doing anything with the prime connect because it doesn't work at all, at least not with this camera. Maybe it works with something else, but it's just absolutely dead in here. Much like when I put it into cell phone mode on the Boya. So seconds for you, probably an hour for me. I'm going to go and edit this and I'll come back and give you a final opinion. All right, so I've edited the rest of this video uh, up, to, up to this point, obviously. I'm now recording this point. I can't be editing it while I'm recording it. And comparing the Zafiro to the Boya... Uh, my first initial thought from the first part where I switched back and forth was that the Zafiro was better in that uh, the Boya seemed to almost muffle my voice a little bit. And that that could just be also be an experience of where to place it on my shirt, how far from my mouth, that sort of thing. But just as a reminder, here is what the Zafiro sounds like. Gonna plug it in now. So this is the Zafiro mic, uh, the cheaper of the two. This one. I don't, it maybe works better normally. I don't know what it currently goes for. When I bought it, it was like a Black Friday special for like 11 bucks. And then this. 
is the Boya mic. This one goes, I think, for $17.99. Both of these came from Amazon. That, of course, came from... Just get rid of that. That can go in the trash. Uh, the Zafiro and the Boya both came from Amazon. Uh, admittedly, a couple years apart. I have no idea if this is even still available because it is from a couple years ago. And just in case you're wondering, that's not dust on the box. That's, that's just the way the box is colored. I thought it was dust, too. And then I tried to dust it off, and it didn't come off. But this is the Boya mic I'm using now, and I feel actually, you know, in editing the parts where I open the minifigures, they both sort of felt like they were muffling my voice, and maybe that's because I'm not speaking as directly straight into it as I do when it's on the camera. The, uh, the microphone on the camera is kind of up here at the top corner of the screen, and of course the lav mic is on my shirt. So it's, it's not directly in front of my mouth, which also means I shouldn't be breathing into it as much, which I think is sort of the point. I was surprised at how well both lav mics picked up sounds like the crinkling of this. Like one thing I kind of thought I would lose out on would be the sound of anything I'm actually interacting with here on the table, being that the mic is farther away and kind of geared more towards my mouth. I thought we wouldn't get wouldn't get the sound of like crinkling plastic and stuff when I'm opening things or hissing sodas or anything like that. But that doesn't seem to be an issue. If anything, I felt like um, on both microphones, the crackling might have been a little bit louder, and that could be because. The microphone on the camera points directly back towards me. I, you can't set it, so it's got two mics. It's got a mic for forward and for backward, and I can't set it to have them both on at one time. So when I go to an event like, say, like Disneyland or uh, Brickpalooza, I have to make sure I switch the camera to face forward so I can hear whoever uh, I'm talking to or is speaking or, you know, sounds or whatever. But when I'm here in the void space, I have to make sure I flip it backwards so it's facing me, so that my voice is the most prominent thing. I'm going to switch back to the Zafiro mic now. Okay, we're back on the Zafiro mic, and honestly, I think the two do sound, when I was editing, pretty similar. I, I, I don't think this is necessarily a clear winner here. At first, I did think the Zafiro was a little bit, a little bit lighter, a little less muffled sounding, but I, I'm not sure that's if that's just an issue of what I'm used to hearing when I edit, and it's not really a problem, because I think both kind of cut down on the breathing noises, cut down on the mouth noises, uh, none of the just getting too close to the mic and breathing into it, and here's just, just here the, the... See if I can even actually do that on this. The sound that you get when you breathe too much into the mic. If that worked, that probably sounded horrible. So it's kind of close. It's kind of hard to say which one is better. I mean, certainly the, the Boya seems like it has... A better if smaller bag. It doesn't seem like, you know, this one literally has been sitting here and has just kind of come apart over the last couple of years. This has an extension cord, which is kind of nice, as where the Boya just has it all in one cord. Now, I'm, I think that that's ultimately probably better because more connections to me seem like there would be more places where things can go wrong. So not having this extra couple connectors in there probably is going to make the Boya better if you're using it at a distance. But I, I really, I, I really don't have an idea of a clear winner here. So, so I don't know how to actually end this. I, I do feel the Zafir, I mean, the Zafir having a shorter mic in general or shorter cord in general is easier for the way I'm going to use it because I'm not going to have this big bundle of cord that's just kind of in the way or hanging off the camera because I'm not going to be, you know, six meters away from the camera that I need that much cord, which is why it's kind of nice that this cord's not attached. But if I did need it, I feel like that introduces more areas where you could have sound degradation. Now I'm going to switch back to the Boya. So ultimately, for the price range, I'm going to say both are completely competent microphones. I, I feel both kind of maybe muffle and uh, flatten the voice a little bit, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. I think I probably will start to use these more and use the camera's built-in mic, or not built-in, but the camera's microphone less, and just go back and forth and kind of see which one I ultimately prefer over time. Hopefully the change in audio quality but if you've been putting up with the audio quality I've been putting out for the last couple of years, I can't imagine this could be that bothersome. So yeah, I, I have no no clear winner here. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably 
go back and forth using both for a while and see which one I prefer. They're both fine. They're both fairly low priced options. And they both, uh, they're competent. They do the job. They do what they say they're supposed to do. They work as microphones that clip onto your shirt. And I mean, this, this tries to sound better. And I have no idea what the smartphone thing does because my smartphone doesn't actually have a microphone jack on. I do actually have the adapter for it. So maybe, maybe I'll try that out at some point just for my own fun. But uh, for the purposes of reviewing it for here, it's, uh, it's what I'm going to use for the camera. And there is no clear winner. Neither is spectacularly better or worse than the other. So I have to kind of call it a tie, uh, at least until I do some more, uh, more effort with it and uh, decide which I like the best. So yeah, ultimately, this was a video that was kind of about nothing. But then again, most of my videos are ultimately kind of about nothing. So that's not a huge change, is it? I hope you found something interesting. At least, at least we finished our Lego minifigure collection. So it's not, it's not all a waste. We did accomplish finishing off the minifigures. And I got them into a video, which I really didn't think I was going to when I only had two left. But I did. Yay me. If you did find any of this interesting or entertaining, go ahead and give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.